is a fun recycled craft. Using recycled paperboard, mini wooden dowels, ribbon, a popsicle stick, a ruler, a paper clip, acrylic paint, and glue. Remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. I start by drawing rectangles onto a piece of paperboard. This is three and a half by two and one fourth inches. Cut it out to make a paperboard rectangle. Repeat to make more. Stack and glue them together using a glue stick. And you wanna be very generous with the glue. So you can stick them together and be sure that every piece is covered. This is six layers of paperboard. Now trace a popsicle stick onto the paperboard to make several thin lines. Cut on the lines drawn, cut them into five inch strips, stack and glue four together, sand the edges round to make a long paperboard popsicle stick. Repeat to make four, find the center point for each one and draw a dot, then make a small hole. I'm using needle nose pliers. The hole just has to be big enough for a paper clip to pass through. Make two more holes at the ends, one on each side, and these need to fit the wooden dowels. Take four mini wooden dowels, glue two between two of the paperboard popsicle sticks, take the other two wooden dowels, mark the width of the popsicle sticks, then I did it again and added a little bit more just to be safe. Cut on the line drawn to trim down the wooden dowels. Then glue them between the paperboard popsicle sticks just as before and allow them to dry. Now that they're dry, the smaller one should be able to fit between the larger one. I'm just gonna test that out, lining up the holes. Yeah, that looks like it should work. Use a little acrylic paint to paint them, then place the smaller one inside of the larger one and line up the holes. Unfold a paper clip. Use needle nose pliers to curl one end to make a small loop. Bend the loop over. Place the paper clip through the hole in the paperboard. Trim off the excess. Then bend and curl the end. Use the leftover paper clip to repeat on the other side. And I'm using pliers to squeeze that wire so it is really tight, making a pretty secure hinge. Place it onto the larger rectangle and make small marks on the inside of the wider set of legs. Glue ribbon next to the line marked to make straps. Place the ribbon over the wooden dowel, then glue down the other side of the ribbon. I make sure the ribbon is snug around the wooden dowel without getting any glue on it so that the wooden dowel can move. Then trim off the excess ribbon to attach the legs to the table. Now we need something to stop the inside leg from going off the table. So I take another mini wooden dowel and glue it right at the edge. Touch up the paint, then allow it to dry. While waiting, I take leftover paperboard, cut it into smaller rectangles, stack and glue two together, cut out smaller shapes that can fit on top, add layers, of paperboard to make it thicker, glue them onto the rectangle so that it looks something like this. Take a piece of aluminum foil, fold it in half, then press it on top, trim it leaving a little extra around the edge, crumble and bend those edges, carefully remove the paperboard to make a tray. Add your favorite doll food from previous videos, like our doll meatloaf and salt dough bread to make a TV dinner, to go on our TV trays. And these TV trays can actually fold up. Just take the inside leg, flip it around, and lay the top flat for easy storage. Perfect for the doll with a small living space. Thank you for joining us while we made these doll TV trays. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting!
want to give a shout out to Anna384. What's up? TV? Check. TV tray? Check. TV dinner? Check. Check. Now I have no reason to get up for the next three hours. Wait, where's the remote? <gasps> it's across the room. No! I keep asking why, why, why? Just feel on my mind, mind, mind. Just feel like a year since we're together. I should feel a feeling.